Encouraged by the troop surge, U.S. and allied forces are taking the battle to the Taliban. But far from the front lines, Afghan President Hamid Karzai launched an offensive of his own, a charm offensive. He calls the plan reintegration. Reintegration is this idea that many of the, the foot soldiers and the, the mid-level commanders can be prized away from the insurgency if they are, receive sufficient guarantees of security and offers of a livelihood. And there are some signs it's working. One radical group has already said it would be willing to lay down its arms if conditions were right. The main point on this is how to stop the war, how to start the peace process, and how to uh, prepare the international community uh, for an honorable departure from Afghanistan. An honorable departure is what U.S. soldiers are fighting for, and commanders say the only way to achieve it is to make it clear they will only leave once the government has the country under control. And there's another way to get the Taliban to give up the fight. Cash. Lots of it. Michael Simple says many insurgents will take that offer. It's a significant percentage of the leadership. They are prepared to do a deal. But there are some Taliban fighters who will never negotiate. Mullah Shireen is a Taliban prisoner convicted of planting a deadly bomb in Kabul. Speaking from a prison cell, he says you can't buy off the Taliban. Money can only work for the short term, he says. While the money is there, everything will be fine. When it is finished, it will go bad again. And deep in the mountains, the hardcore Taliban fighters swear they will fight to the death. Look at our history. We never talk to invaders and we never will, he says. U.S. commanders are willing to give reintegration a chance. But their message to these men is simple, surrender or die. Mandy Clark, CBS News, Kabul.